We're here at Energy at Stanford and Slack, where teams of five students are envisioning a climate and equity future. Soil loss, plastic pollution. Then we can try and do Then we can try and take a look at the result. Ah, ah. how to mitigate. Quite a lot of points. You can just take all the impacts. Well, sorry, I have yeah. a couple things turned on here that could be conflating that. Let's see. Yeah. Zero? Yeah, yeah, that's yeah, yeah. 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 What's really unique about it is they're using the simulator En-ROADS, which we at Climate Interactive, our not-for-profit think tank built with our partners at MIT Sloan, to envision and test mathematically the different policies that interest them. This increase in energy efficiency, that is for the new buildings. They're putting in policies like carbon pricing and electrification and preserving forests and carbon capture and storage and seeing what it does to climate results, air quality, financial results, and others. Yeah. How would we get a decrease in population? Yeah, yeah. yeah and then transportation. That would be interesting. I can relate it. <laughs> also be realistic. Be realistic. <laughs> I don't think no birth. Well, I, mean, I, mean, I mean like lower no, birth no, rate no, is getting real. Um, Zero birth. It's getting real. And yeah. There's a lot of new companies coming out in that field, so maybe we can up that as well. We talk so much about this global problem of climate change and what's going to happen and how it's going to happen and to put numbers and visuals and understand the interactions within the model and see how different inputs encourage different outcomes is just, it's so amazing. Telling people not to produce energy anymore. One model that, that I thought was really cool was saying the effect of like uh, food. We played around with the slider of like food waste and uh, food consumption from animal sources and all, and it was interesting to see how uh, the temperature change actually responded to this. It's not a parameter like you would think of intuitively, so it's interesting. It really helps people who might be not so technical or a little bit scared of getting their hands dirty in a model, or someone with a lot of knowledge can also come to this model with all of that specific information. It was kind of a nice stepping stone to opening up that opportunity for them. What you're going to be doing is creating the future that you actually want to see other than this.